Welcome on board Optasia. I'm Evangelos Berdos, the captain of 85 meter yacht launched in 2018 by Golden Yachts and designed by Studio Vafiadis. The shipyard is renowned for its highly successful GY series such as Project X and Opari. Also, GY's project received many awards internationally such as the Design and Innovation Awards 2023 by Boat International. Optasia was the winner of the International Super Yacht Society Award in the Power 65m Plus category in 2019, with an average speed of 16 knots, a beam of 13.8 and gross tonnage 2350 GT. Optasia in Greek means vision, but metaphorically means a very attractive and shining woman. Balance, flowing looks, soft lines and light are key design elements of Optasia. As a crew, we have cultivated mutual respect and we are a strong team with distinct skills. All of us together create a perfect ensemble. We love taking the chance to make things happen for our guests, even under difficult circumstances. It is amazing to make someone's dreams come true. You have to be able to adapt all kinds of conditions and demanding situations while also meticulously planning. Moving inside Optasia, the interior has a blend of dark wood paired with a light color palette that is intended to evoke a sense of calmness. There is a range of wood, from a porous latte to a glossy ebony. The interior decor is modern, with clean, crisp lines and eye-catching details. The main salon is a grand space, one large open-plan room with two separate seating areas. A dining area is set at the forward end of the salon and the ebony dining table is centered with black lid, honey-toned onyx, suitable for 14 guests. The pièce de résistance is the light installation in the lift, a glowing purple triangle that beckons you into the dimly lit space and makes riding even one floor an experience. As you move on, the guest's cabins feature eucalyptus walls with great joinery. The space is allocated well in the streets and most cabins have walking wardrobes. Some bathrooms are decorated in Vandelicon marble. Other bathrooms feature a green marble found in Aegean island of Tinos. The art on board Octasia is a feast for the eyes. Pop art mosaics and texture pieces that tempt you to touch them adorn the hallways, and guest cabins adding heaps of personality. Similarly, the magnificent staircase, a set of glowing onyx steps in a jet black stairwell, is backed by a cruise staircase on the opposite side. We are heading to the upper deck salon, a more casual place for lounging or watching films with comfortable sofas, a bar and games table. Ideal for happy hour, birthday surprises with firework displays and on board theme parties sporting events and games for our younger guests. The upper deck is totally private with owner's office, a clean, calm walking place. One VIP, two double cabins, and owner's cabin that offers a direct access to the Tats and Go helipad.
land sand deck that provides the ideal scenery for a party with a DJ booth, fully furnished bar, film screenings and vast lounge areas adding extra points to the setting. Venture down to the lower deck and you'll find that Optasia has even more to offer. With regards to the water toys, we always try to stay up to date. We have four sea boats, three jet skis, an 8-meter crisscraft running on gasoline, which is very fast, as well as a 10-meter on the limo. But the most exciting water toys to play with, by far, are the two jet surfs and our new foil. We move on to a welcoming beach club. The yacht has a marble steam roof, the same beautiful white marble found inside the yacht. It was inspired by Turkish hammams. The huge hot cold shower is another favorite. There are two shower heads so guests can have one very hot or cold shower. Guests can access the boat from the wide swimming platform or by stairway from the main salon. And the passage and stairway takes guests down to the beach club from the main salon. So there is no need to go outside and guests can use the steam room anytime. Looking forward to seeing you on board! Personally, I consider cooking to be a soulful ritual. It can actually be an uplifting treat for all five senses, and when I cook, I tend to lean into the images, scents and textures involved in the process. Being mindful of these small moments of pleasure adds so much to the final result. My philosophy is based on the idea that we all have strong emotional reactions and when we eat a food that arouses those deep unconscious memories. You might not be able to put these memories into words, but you know there is something that the food triggers deep within your past. The recollection goes far beyond the food itself. It reignites that existing memory from long ago, whether it is associated with a place or person. I always like to support local markets and communities. Sometimes small fishing boats even approach us with a fresh catch. My top three destinations are Santorini for a famous fava beans and excellent wines, Egina for its incomparable pistachios and Syros for its great Gruyere cheese amichalis. Also, we love to organize master classes with guests, for example, how to make the perfect fresh Italian pasta and, of course, the chocolate master class. As they say, knowledge is power and we need this power to uphold the highest of standards when it comes to our dishes, services, decoration and, of course, housekeeping. Good organization and a creative approach are the main elements for planning successful events on board. I work closely with the interiors team to a brainstorm themes and discuss ideas. In the past we have set up barbecues, with wine tastings, large parties with numerous people and live music, themed parties and professional mixology sessions. Also, wines and spirits in general are one of the most important things for a charter, in my opinion. It is an experience to host charterers who like wine or bring their own. These guests usually ask for suggestions, which is an excellent opportunity to showcase and promote our delicious and excellent local products. Table settings might vary according to the menu, the destinations or the guest's mood. You might use fresh flowers or corals to give off a breezy feeling of summer or even compose a picnic theme with natural elements. Using fruit has also become a trendy touch to adorn the table as a charming centerpiece. The important thing is to have a theme and not to be afraid to get creative with it. Every simple gesture has the power to change the look of an entire table, taking you from formal to relaxed in a flash, or vice versa. 